Need more ports on your computer? This USB-C mini dock has you covered. Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here and I'm checking out this. This is the Kensington USB-C mini dock and it's pretty sweet. Okay, I'll be honest, it's an empty box because the actual unit is here and it's actually really pretty slick. It features on one side USB-C pass-through and HDMI, 4K HDMI up to 60 Hertz, which is great. And then one gig ethernet, which actually of course will step down to slower ethernet speeds if that's what you have. But if you're using direct wired ethernet, hopefully you have a nice fast connection. On the other side, you have two USB 3.2, which means that they are the fastest possible USB 3, that's the rectangular one and they can get up to five gigabits a second, which of course is entirely functional on the device you plug in. But this addresses a common problem with computers, which is you just don't have enough ports or you just don't have the right ports. All you need is one USB-C plug and you can plug it in and use it. Now, what makes this particularly interesting is that not only does it work with Mac and Windows computers, but it's also certified to work with Chrome OS. So if you have a Chromebook, and a lot of Chromebooks have very, very few ports because they're trying to minimize cost, but if you have a Chromebook, you can plug this thing in and get all these extra features and ports, which is great. So I have a Lenovo Chromebook. This one happens to have a lot of useful ports on it, but that's okay, we're gonna test it out anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in our USB dock. I'm gonna, let's get this computer woken up. And as soon as I get things hooked up, you'll be able to see on the monitor what's going on. So first off, I have a 65 watt Lenovo USB-C charger and I can plug it straight into my computer, which is great, but I wanna use the dock. And then the challenge with these docks is you wanna make sure that it actually is passing through as much of the wattage as possible. And this one passes through up to 85 watts, which is important because you don't wanna plug in an 85 watt charger and find out that it's pushing like 45 watts. So I'm gonna plug this in and I saw my screen go a little brighter, so that's looking good. And now let's plug in that monitor and you know, a lot of people don't realize that Chrome OS has become extremely capable, so it can definitely do things like power a second monitor. Let's see what happens. And hopefully behind me, that will wake up. There we go. So I'm not mirroring what's on the screen. I think I can do that. Let's see, how hard is that to set up? Um, let's see. I assume if we go into device, displays, there we go, there's arrangement. Oops, well, that's interesting. <laughs> that's not what we want. Let's see. Um, well, there's some way to do that, but we're not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna waste all our time doing that. Instead, let's see if I can move this onto that screen. Let's see, well, hmm. There we go. So now you can see there's something on the screen. And so the more interesting question then is, all right, let's plug in some other stuff and see what else we can do with this dock. Now, I happen to have a, a Google Pixel. So let's plug in that phone. And I'm just gonna plug it into that USB 3.2 port. And you might not be able to see very clearly, but it is charging. So there we go. Now you can see it's at 63%. So the phone is charging. While that's going on, I'm gonna plug in an external USB flash or thumb drive, and this one happens to be from Kensington, which is entirely appropriate, and I'm just gonna plug that in as an external device. And let's see, we got that. And so then the question is, does that then show up and removable device detected? That sounds good. So I'll open the Files app, and there's honestly not a lot on there, but as you can see, that's showing me that device. So what's really great here is that by using this one mini dock, 
that I have now added a charging port that I'm charging my phone and I could access my phone because it's Android and it's actually easy to do that. And I have an external flash drive also via USB-A and I have an external monitor hooked up via HDMI and all of that's being powered from a single USB-C port on the computer. And not only that, but this is also powering through from my charger. It's going all the way through the device and actually giving the device power too. So I'm charging my device, I'm using an external flash drive, I'm charging my phone, I have a second display hooked up. All of this is running seamlessly and easily with this Kensington device. Really, really nice. Not much else I can tell you about it. In terms of dimensions, it's kind of big. It is 6.3 inches by 3.7 inches by, I don't know if you can see that, by just about an inch thick and it is 14 ounces. It's kind of weirdly light. Um, a lot of these are made out of aluminum, and so I'm used to them having a little more heft. This one is plastic, but again, three-year warranty, so you don't have to worry if two years down the road someone sits on your darn dock and breaks it. Kensington will have you covered, so really nice. Not much else to talk about. It's a super simple demo. You can see everything's working exactly as we want it to work. My phone continues to charge, which is handy. <laughs> <laughs> so it works with Mac, it works with PC, it works with Chromebooks, really anything that has a USB-C port, you can probably plug it into and have it work. Now, one caveat, when I was experimenting with it, I did find that it worked a lot better with Chrome OS at least for me to plug this into the computer and then plug things into it. So if I had everything already plugged in and then just plugged it right into Chrome OS, it had a hard time figuring out what was going on. That might be a limitation of how Chrome adds new devices and new peripherals, I don't know. But just do it in the right order, plug in your dock and then plug things into the dock, super easy. So, only thing left to talk about is the price, but before we get to the price, I'm gonna ask you if you could subscribe to my channel. Click or tap on that subscribe button, then turn on notifications to make sure you know about my new content. Really appreciate that. Cool. This then is, I'm going to leave it plugged in. This is the Kensington USB C mini dock, and it's $79.99 at kensington.com. That is a little spendy for what it is, but I really think Kensington makes super reliable products, and that three year warranty is pretty sweet. So, definitely one to check out, particularly if you have a Chromebook or your kids have a Chromebook and it's really deficit on charging ports or on useful accessory and peripheral ports. This is a very simple solution. That's all I got. Catch you in my next video.